Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Founders. This is KBS 2017. I'm a little bit behind on that one, didn't end up picking the bottle early on when it was released, but obviously one of the most hype beers in craft beer. Uh, if you don't know already, my opinions about this beer, not the best, but I obviously do very much appreciate the beer. Um, you can check out my previous videos about this beer, but people have said some great things about this vintage. So let's dig in the beer. This one comes in at 11.8%, does not say in the bottle, nor does it have a <laughs> bottling date, but uh, beer is wonderfully uh, black in the glass. Uh, pouring it out has some uh, dark brown and also some dark brown edges on the um, appearance. Let's get the aroma on this one. Mm. <laughs> that is KBS. Having had this beer for four years, maybe, it just pops of KBS. There's vanilla, and it, it's a really explosive, earthy coffee and chocolate note that, again, it's probably the intense amounts of uh, chocolate that they use in this one, but it smells like KBS. It smells like booze. It smells like uh, bourbon. It smells like roasted malts. It smells like um, vanilla, a little bit. Yeah, again, it's, it's, it's an earthy chocolate and coffee mocha kind of flavor. Cheers. Very familiar, yeah, for sure. This one is good though. This is a good, good vintage, yeah. So in general, uh, initial impressions is that 11.8%, this is not your biggest beer, um, at least on the palate, or in mouthfeel at least, but. Smacked on with bourbon, vanilla, layered on with a little bit of heat, nice roasty quality, some of that kind of like cocoa nib, chocolate, dark chocolate. Um, on the back end, it really has a little bit of alcohol to sort of uh, sting the nose lightly and then also uh, warm on the way down. Mouthfeel is medium plus. Generally my quote unquote issue with this beer. Um, but yeah, there's a really nice kind of cocoa nib dark chocolate kind of flavor, the coffee roast and, and, and the roasted malts offer a really wonderful balance on the back end. Um, get really kind of like beautiful, sweet vanilla and bourbon kind of quality up front. It, it, it's a lot more cohesive from what I remember the beer generally being, but not too much. That barely makes any sense, but <laughs> it's better than before. Um, that's what I remember, but yeah, there you guys go. It's very good. It's really good. If you liked Lagunitas' Hide Westified, you're going to like this beer. It's more balanced than that beer, and it, you know, plays in that kind of realm, if you want to understand what that means. Then again, I do think this beer is better, but barely because, barely in the sense of, that beer is three times <laughs> cheaper than this beer. That beer comes in around uh, High West Five by Lagunillas. They're bourbon barrel aged um, coffee imperial stout or whiskey uh, barrel aged imperial stout. About 16 I think, for a six pack. This one is like $8 a bottle. So um, big price difference. I would recommend that you get some Lagunillas High West Five, especially for the accessibility. This one's hard to get. But good vintage this beer. Wow, really nice. I'm really liking it. Nice. Um, 97. Sure, 97. Ninety-seven out of a hundred coming from me. Uh, Founders KBS. This is probably the best rating I've given this beer, possibly. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Let me know what you think about this vintage. Please post below. Until next time. Cheers. Later.